Between 2 million and 46,000 years ago, a marsupial predator prowled the grasslands and forests of Australia. This beast had bolt cutter like jaws and massive thumb claws. This was Thylacoleo. Thylacoleo, often referred to as the marsupial lion, was a uniquely impressive beast that roamed the landscapes of ancient Australia. It was quite the heavyweight, tipping the scales at up to 160 kilograms. To put this in perspective, this makes it larger than a lioness, but still smaller than a fully grown male lion. It's a substantial size for any creature let alone a marsupial predator, and certainly establishes Thylacoleo as a formidable presence in its environment. Despite its common name, Thylacoleo didn't bear a striking resemblance to the lions we're familiar with today. It has a somewhat feline build, but its physical features were distinctive, adaptations from its differences in ancestral morphology. One of its most striking features was its teeth. The marsupial lion had a set of teeth that were unlike those of any other known mammal. Among these were a pair of large, blade-like teeth that it used to deliver a powerful, shearing bite. These teeth evolved from molars which eventually became a sharp block of teeth, perfectly designed for cutting through tough meat and even breaking bone. Furthermore, it had a pair of incisors on its top and bottom jaw which had evolved into a much more canine-like shape. Truly a fascinating piece of dentition. These adaptations are believed to have allowed Thylacoleo to have one of if not the strongest pound-for-pound -pound bite of any mammal species living or extinct. Their bite force was estimated at a shocking 1,692 newtons. Yet, the peculiarities of Thylacoleo's physical form didn't stop at its teeth. Its forelimbs were strong and robust, equipped with retractable claws that were reminiscent of those found in modern-day cats. But perhaps one of its most unique adaptations was an opposable first digit on its forelimbs, in simple terms, a thumb. This thumb, capable of a strong grip and tipped with a long curved claw, likely aided the creature in climbing and handling its prey, enhancing its prowess as a predator. Available fossils suggest that the marsupial lion reigned over a considerable span of the Australian continent. The expansive territory it thrived in likely echoed the climatic and geographical traits of the southern third of today's Australia, a semi-arid landscape adorned with open scrub and woodlands, interspersed with waterholes and small rivers. This formidable creature would have shared this environment with an array of extinct Australian megafauna, the large herbivore Diprotodon, a giant marsupial whose largest individuals could reach nearly four tons, giant kangaroos and the intimidating Megalania, Komodo dragon's giant mainland relative. The list also includes massive wallabies like Protemnodon, the enormous wombat Fascolinus, the formidable snake Wanambi, and the giant flightless bird Geniornis, as well as Wakalio alcodensis, a relative who is only known fragmentarily but might have been a competitor to Thylacoleo. The specifics of Thylacoleo's hunting strategy are somewhat of a mystery due to the lack of a living equivalent for comparison. Its build and specifics of its anatomy lead paleontologists to believe it was an ambush predator. In addition, its physical structure points to a lifestyle of walking and trotting more than climbing, suggesting it used stealth and camouflage in forested habitats for hunting, similar to how leopards operate. Its thumb claws, however, would have made it quite proficient at climbing. This has led some to believe it had similar arboreal habits to the Tasmanian devil. In terms of its speed, it probably could have achieved similar paces to modern predators. Lions who are close in size can run at speeds of 50 miles per hour when ambushing prey. In addition, its thumb claws would have made it quite adept at grappling prey. But while its powerful jaws definitely played a role, how exactly it delivered lethal strikes is unknown. The reproductive habits of Thylacoleo are not well known due to the limitations of fossil evidence. As a marsupial, it can be inferred that Thylacoleo had reproductive habits similar to other marsupials. Female marsupials typically have a pouch in which their young, called joeys, complete their development after birth. While specifics such as gestation period, number of offspring, and frequency of reproduction are largely unknown for Thylacoleo. Studies on its sense of smell point to it being very strong, which some believe indicate that it would use pheromones heavily to communicate during the mating season. 
The megafauna that roamed Australia during the Pleistocene epoch formed a healthy prey base for Thylacoleo. This marsupial lion was well equipped for the pursuit and capture of large animals, but seemed less adept at hunting smaller game. The swift depletion of its main food supply approximately 40,000 to 50,000 years ago most likely triggered the marsupial lion's descent into extinction. The onset of human habitation in Australia and the ensuing practice of fire stick farming, the practice of using a controlled burn to either reduce certain vegetation in an area, or to flush prey when hunting, likely exacerbated their decline, this practice causing further ecological changes as well as putting more pressure on the remaining fauna. Thylacoleo was a very unique predator. Between its anatomy and environment, this animal led a life like no other. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave any thoughts in the comments below. Have a great day.